Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Tony with DojoHero.com and our little senseis. And we are working on shapes. As you can see, spread across the floor, we're gonna use the cones to represent triangles, but we also have vinyl cutouts that are also in the shapes of triangles. We've got squares. We've also got cutout squares here. The vinyls are great. You can use these for so many things when it comes to our sorting shapes program. Here we've got our rectangles and then we've got circles with hula hoops and we've got circles with cutouts. Now back in the back, this is like our master section. So we've got our circles, we've got our what? Rectangles. rectangles. We've got our Rectangle. square and then our Triangle. triangles. And again, we're reinforcing what the shapes are, right? As many chances as we get, we always try to reinforce what it is that they're looking at or what it is that they're doing and how it coincides with uh, the shapes and the, and the, uh, and the theme that we're, that we're focused on. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call out one particular shape. Now you can only do a shuffle step in order to get it. And then you have to place it in front of the master shape. So if I say circles, you guys can only shuffle to find circles. Once you find a circle, you pick it up and you shuffle back and you place it, let's just say in front, we'll say in front, okay? So let's see if you can follow directions and put it in front of the master color. And then I circle back or I come back, I shuffle back, I get all the circles and I place it there. Now, I'm only gonna give you about 15 seconds. If there's any circles that you forgot, we have to start all over. And I'm gonna pull all those back out. Are you ready? Go ahead and stand up for me. Turn your body sideways. Remember, you can only grab one at a time. Shuffle, you can only shuffle. And they all have to be picked up within 15 seconds. Ready, on your mark, get set, go. 15, 14, 13, all the circles. 12, 11, 10, nine. You got eight seconds, six. Come on, you're down to five. Once everything's cleaned up, have a seat right over there. Four, three, two, and time. All right, let me just double check to make sure. It looks like we got them, ready? Triangles, go, triangles. 15, 14, 13, 12. Notice where you can work on any type of footwork that we want here, any type of footwork that we want here. They can do shuffles, they can run, uh, they can hop if they want. They can go in slow motion. You can have music and you can stop the music and have them freeze wherever they're at. Five seconds left. Four, three, two. Hurry up, hurry up. One and three quarters. One. Cross those legs, set them nice and straight. Ready? Squares. Squares. Go, 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 go. That's it. Nice. And this is a great activity. Regardless of what theme you're working on, we may be talking about shapes here, but regardless of what you're doing in class, if you've got equipment all over the floor, obviously they're gonna be in some form of a shape. If you're using kicking shields, you've got rectangles. If you're using hula hoops, you've got them all over the place, right? You can spread them out on the floor and then you can have them work on cleaning up. How many of you guys have toys at home, right? How many of you guys have clothes at home? How many of you guys pick up after yourself and don't let mom and dad clean up. Yeah, so usually when I ask that question, I'll have kids that'll raise their hand and say, oh, I always clean up. And then I look over at the parents, just like your mother is over there laughing because she knows that that's probably not the case, right? So when we clean all of this up, you're helping me, but we're also working on being responsible and cleaning up or picking up after ourselves. That's self-discipline, right? You know that you're not supposed to make a mess and just leave it. You know that sometimes we don't feel like cleaning it up but you know that it's the right thing, yes? So being able to do it without being told or without being asked to or disciplined or yelled at or whatever the case is because we don't decide to pick up after ourselves, when we do it on our own, that's called, say it with me, say self-discipline. Self. Very good, ready? So now we have rectangles, go, rectangles. We only got three of them out here, but you gotta shuffle. Kenny, oh, you're not shuffling, Kenny, what are you doing? There we go, you gotta remember the steps, gotta remember the steps. And cross your legs, good. So that is one way to do this. Another way to do this is to just spread everything back out on the floor. Go ahead and take everything, guys, and spread it out wherever you want to. 
and giving the kids an opportunity to spread those back out that's always fun you can have them shuffle back out and place them in different positions but i just like to have them grab them just move around spread them around put them in different spots uh, you only got about 10 seconds guys and make sure that you leave the master out here so you know what goes out there we're, we're missing the, the rectangle over here okay we need the master rectangle back where was that what was that do you remember Think about it. I want you to think. Where's the, yeah, yep, that's right. You're recognizing those rectangles now, aren't you? Very good. Are you better with rectangles than when you came today, before you started today? Mm -hmm. I'd say so, because you said those were squares. Or you, saw, you thought squares were rectangles. Now you know, big time. Come on, you only got about five seconds left, Tay Tay. Let's move it. Let's move it and groove it, baby. Let's go. Three, two and one all right have a seat right back over here so another way to do this is to just have them clean everything up use it as an example of picking up after themselves at home but they're still going to place everything in the proper place that it needs to go all right guys so you are going to still do your shuffle steps now watch out for each other like i said before we don't play bumper cars in here so you have to know where each other's at so we don't slam into each other okay so now you're going to do the shuffle step get everything cleaned up place it nice and neat in front of each one of the shapes which is shape number one rectangle. shape number two Where? shape number three rectangle. rectangle shape number four you got it ready set go quick 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 Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Just grab anything. It doesn't matter which one you grab. You just have to make sure that it goes to, no, you can only grab one though, Ken. Nice try, buddy. Ah, where's it? There you go. That's right. Good, good, good. Come on, let's move quick. Let's move quick. And you're also watching out for each other. So they're learning about their surroundings, learning how to move, learning how to see with peripheral vision, everything that's going on around them. Because as you can see, if you have a lot of kids out here, it's easy for them to start like bumping into each other. So you can break this up if you have a huge class of littles and you don't have very much help. You know, have half of them go and then have the other half go, but you can spread enough equipment out on the floor to where they can all uh, do the activity. Just make sure that you're reinforcing the fact that they need to be careful when it comes to doing anything like this where they're crisscrossing or they're not running straight. Even when they're running straight sometimes, they'll have a problem with bumping into each other. So uh, being aware of that, and not me too, you gotta watch out for me. Come on, you only got about five seconds left. So what are they working on? They're working on footwork, which is one of the qualities. They're working on cardiovascular. I hear Kenny over here huffing and puffing. How's that feel, Ken, feel good? You out of breath, you hot? Have a seat, baby. That means we're doing well. When we're working hard, when we're out of breath, that means that you're doing a great job. So congratulations, give yourselves three big claps. Say we rock. Yeah, you're probably like, whatever, dude, I'm so tired. All right, so that's just a couple different ways that you can do this. You can have bags set up on the other side, so every time they grab a piece of equipment, they run back and they place it down. They can throw a couple techniques on the bags or whatever you want. The, the modifications are unlimited. Uh, just, again, trying to give you uh, an idea, trying to give you a concept here, trying to narrow it down to a very, very specific theme, which in this case is recognizing and sorting shapes. And then however we put that together, however creative we can be, however many ways that we can incorporate this type of thing in our class, the more powerful it becomes and the stronger they get at each one of these 36 qualities that we're going to be focusing on. I'm Tony with DojoHero.com. We'll see you next time.